For 20 years, a Downers Grove organization has been changing lives through scuba diving, and they have helped military veterans and the disabled realize their potential in the water. And now they have big plans for the suburbs. Natalie joins us once again with more. Natalie? The organization Dive Heart, it's very, very special, celebrating two decades. And even though they've helped thousands of people with scuba diving therapy, they aren't finished yet. Really exemplifies how uh, disabilities um, shouldn't be stopping anybody from doing anything that they want to do in life. Even dive beyond 60 feet in the ocean. But the problem is there are no oceans around here. But that concept is about to change. Dive Heart is planning to build something really, really big that will be one of the first of its kind in the world. We're going to share what it is tonight at 9 on Fox 32. Don and Corey. <laughs> Coming up next, Van Dive Therapy. How scuba is helping those with disabilities swim to a better life. They're no longer Johnny in a wheelchair. It's now Johnny the scuba diver. It creates a paradigm shift in their mind. And now they focus on their abilities and what they can do. From struggling with a disability to scuba diving and independence under the water. For 20 years, your organization, Dive Heart, has been changing lives by introducing a new wave of therapy, and now they have big plans for the suburbs. Natalie is here with more. Don and Corey, their world headquarters is in Downers Grove, but they have helped military veterans and others with disabilities as far away as Malaysia. And now they hope to help even more people with something that will be the world's first. <laughs> When her only options were to sink or swim, Amber Wrangell chose the latter. It was a pretty dark time in my life. Wrangell was a nationally ranked barefoot water skier. In 2013, she suffered a devastating injury that led to paralysis. Dive Heart overall has just given me the confidence and hope um, to experience new things and to continue to continue to thrive for more. Wrangell is one of thousands of people certified to scuba dive with the nonprofit Dive Heart. It's the brainchild of former Chicago media exec Jim Elliott. My father's an army vet with a disability, so I spent my childhood dodging wheelchairs at Heinz VA Hospital. <laughs> and then I, uh, I grew up and raised children with disabilities and guided and taught blind skiers. Groundbreaking research on the program has found deep water can trigger serotonin, the feel-good hormone in the brain, and more is yet to come. Elliot has big plans to build a deep warm water therapy pool in Lake County to replicate open water for research and rehabilitation, which means more moments like this. When they're in a wheelchair all, all the time, and I get them for the first time standing up underwater, completely neutrally buoyant, and we take our hands off them and they look down and they go, oh my God, I'm standing up for the first time. We showed you video of the divers practicing in the pool, but the organization gets them underwater all over the world. Those with a disability are never alone. They are paired with up to three dive buddies. To connect with Dive Heart, you can head to our website, fox32chicago.com, and look for this story. Corey? Wonderful, wonderful program.